have heard, Fox has announced two new television series named Hellfire and Legion, both of which revolve around the X-Men universe. How is that relevant to movie talk? Well, a new rumor has surfaced that suggests Fox and Marvel actually reached a deal in which Marvel gave Fox the rights to use X-Men for television and Fox gave Marvel the rights to Fantastic Four. The rumor also suggests that Fantastic Four would be one of Marvel's recently announced 2020 release dates. John, should people actually believe this rumor? All right, well, I, I think there's actually two sides to this story. And so let's look at both of them. Here's why you shouldn't believe this rumor, okay? This is all coming from one single source, and that's Den of Geek. And I, I have no problem with the site, Den of Geek. Actually, they're a really good website. Um, they're, I'm, I'm not... I'm not really clear on their track record as far as breaking scoops, though, but it's a site I really enjoy. Um, so take that with a grain of salt. The other reason to not believe it is that just a few weeks ago, Simon Kinberg said they, Fox is still moving ahead with their own Fantastic Four 2 plans coming in 2017. Now, on that show that we talked about that, I said, okay, Simon, I don't believe you, but, but whatever, they, that is a good reason to not believe this report. The other thing is, some people online are making a case, well, you know, it's no coincidence, John. Marvel just announced three dates in 2020, and now comes this rumor. We've known for a year that Marvel was moving to three films a year. We've known that for a year. They just happened to say the dates now. There were going to be three dates anyway, so that does not bolster or back up this rumor whatsoever. That being said... There are some good reasons to give this rumor some credibility. Think about it this way. You know, I'm one of these guys, I, Schnepp is, is one of these guys as well, that I say the comic book properties that are not at Marvel, don't send them back to Marvel. We like the X-Men where they are, Fox is doing a great job, don't want Fantastic Four back at Marvel because we'll never get Fantastic Four properties. There's just something about a monopoly that hurts consumers. And you may not think it would hurt us right now, but in the long term it would hurt. But even I, that guy who's been saying, no, keep Fantastic Four at Fox, blah, blah, even I, after Fantastic Four and the whole mess of that came out, even I started to say, no way, dude, three strikes and you're out, send it back to Marvel. So there is that. But the other thing to keep in mind here is this, is we've talked about this notion before, and I believe it makes total sense. What is the most, comic book-wise, valuable property that Fox has right now? It is the X-Men, and they're doing great with their X-Men stuff. It would make sense for them to take something that is no longer an asset to them, which is Fantastic Four, and say, we want this, the television rights to Fox, because we're crushing it with our X-Men stuff. If they... Let's say I'm the head of Fox. If I could swing a deal that says, let me give up this asset, which is useless to us now, in return to take an asset that would be very valuable to us, this is a deal that makes sense for Fox. And from Marvel's point of view anyway, Marvel can't do anything with, these, with this X-Men stuff. They're not going to do anything on TV with X-Men anyway. So if they can get back something that could be an asset to them in the form of Fantastic Four in exchange for giving up something they couldn't use anyway, it's also a win for Marvel. So while there are good reasons to not believe this rumor, there are also good reasons to believe this rumor. So look, but it's also just as likely that Fox just went to Marvel, we'll give you 175 million for the TV rights to Fox, or for the TV rights to the X-Men universe, and Marvel said, good deal, we're not using it anyway, we can get $175 million. There's Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, so, I mean, it could be that as well. But it's, it's, there's a lot of interesting angles at this. Mark, you heard about this. You've read the rumors. How do you think this is going to shake out? What do you believe? Well, I don't know what I believe after that. That was a great soliloquy because you gave both points. And it's like, I don't know what to believe as far as a rumor standpoint goes. As a fan, I would be excited to see this, despite the fact that Fantastic Four, I'm just, I'm so negative on the Fantastic Four right now and seeing any sort of incarnation of Fantastic Four, even if you could do it right with the X-Men universe or on television, I just don't care about seeing Fantastic Four. Now, having said that, Fox is crushing it right now with X-Men in yeah, the movie universe. doing a really good job. But with after it. Apocalypse, where do you go from there? Because you're probably losing your biggest asset in the X-Men, Wolverine, Hugh Jackman playing Wolverine. You're not going to have him anymore. 
So we might get a little bit of a snippet in this story as to what their plans for post-apocalypse is, because a lot like what the Avengers are going to have to do after Infinity War, you're going to have to reboot some stuff. You're going to have to cast new people in the same roles. So maybe this is the way that they start to get into that in 2020 or whenever those new movies come out. But it's very exciting for me as a fan to know I'm going to get stories like this on television in addition to going to the movies. So I would be on board with this stuff. Even the Fantastic Four part of it, I think, is the best thing that Fantastic Four that property could do. If you're a fan mm. of Fantastic Four, you better be rooting for this to actually happen. Post-apocalypse, like what you did there. Um, <laughs> now, as far as uh, the should we buy the rumor, I, yeah, I think we should buy the rumor because, again, looking at Danic Geek, which is a credible source, I mean, it's, it's a good site. It's also one of these sites that I don't think they're just going to, if some report comes upon their desk, they're not going to go, just throw it out there. This is a big story. This is going to crush your site if it's not, if, if there's not at least talks of it somewhere. If it turns out someone can say that it's complete garbage, and I don't think <laughs> it is. I really think that the, at least these talks have been happening, like like you said. Um, and I think that the, Fantastic Four is in serious, serious trouble because look at Spider-Man, which it's Spider-Man, and Spider-Man was in trouble like as far as... It needed to go back. I know that you were on the other side of this, but I think that you, we... You, shut up, Siri. Um, I don't know why I did Wait, that. Siri has some um, thoughts on this. Just started, she literally just started talking for some reason. But I, I like Johnny Storm. Yes, but I know that you were. You didn't think that Spider-Man should have gone to Marvel at the time. Like you, maybe well, one there more were movie. good reasons for it to happen. Sure. but I also thought there were good reasons for it to stay. Sure, and I, I just and I and I could understand those. I don't think there's any reason to keep Fantastic Four at Fox. I don't totally think they, agree. They don't know what they're doing there with it anymore. And I think that and and Mark is with your point as far as it's X-Men. Where do you go? They also have. Deadpool. They have other things that they can do there with inside of the X Men universe too. And granted, it's rated R, but you can still do stuff and tie in. And look, uh, you already have Colossus. It's going to be in the movie in Deadpool movie. So there are ways that they can keep that alive, and it makes a lot of sense to get those TV rights because you can do more. Plus, Marvel seems to be. Even though we don't necessarily have a confirmation, it looks like Kevin Feige staying away from connecting too much to the canon of television into uh, the yep. movies, but. We don't. It's never really been said that that's not the same universe altogether. So, but when you when you put X Men in there, it certainly isn't. If you were going to make that, so it's it's too messy for them to make an X Men TV series. It's a great bargaining chip. Go there, get get your property back because I think Fantastic Four is also one of those movies that you can stick the Fantastic Four characters in an Avengers, or in Thor, in Iron Man, wherever you want to put a Civil War, wherever you want to put them. Not Civil War, obviously, it's too soon. But you know what I mean, like any one of those movies to set them up, and then. The same way that they're doing with Wonder Woman in Justice in uh, Batman v Superman. Right. Set her up. Get okay. That's the character that we like. We love. They're handling it the right way. I think it's a brilliant move and a smart move for both studios if it is indeed true. I just don't see what Marvel really gets out of Fantastic Four from a cinematic universe standpoint, but Kevin Feige is no longer overseeing any of the Netflix stuff that they're doing or any television right. things, so maybe Marvel wants Fantastic Four for some sort of TV series. I just don't see if you're Kevin Feige... I haven't Feige, thought about that. Right. Why are you... Why would you want... I, I understand Spider-Man. I understand wanting Spider-Man in Civil War, and this isn't me hating on the Fantastic Four, the comic book series, but I just don't understand with all the bad negativity that is surrounding Fantastic Four right now, why you would want to acquire it. I get that in 2020 you're going to need movies to come out that are known properties. At this point, I just don't understand why Fantastic Four would be one of because them. Because there's a forgiveness factor once it goes back to Marvel. Because that Spider-Man there was, but you think with Fantastic yeah, Four? Yeah, I do. I think because they, look at the way that, just the memes that happened when Spider-Man was back to Marvel and Captain America carrying him back into the family. Yeah. That will happen again with Fantastic Four Marvel because Marvel right now is on this Roll everything they put out right now. It works financially. Whatever, whatever. I don't. I mean, I love Ant Man. I know there's some people who who didn't like it. I mean, even a movie like Iron Man Two, which is people don't really like that much. They all make money. They all produce business, and they all have developed these characters into iconic characters. And I think that the fans, at least I would, I, if if I knew Marvel was getting a hold of it again. You know that the film, like look, even even when the rumors of Ava DuVernay coming to Black Panther, right, right. Look at who they're going after. Fox isn't doesn't know how to do that. Not nothing against Josh Trank. He was an up and coming director, but they're taking. Look at the rumors that's happening now with this Gambit movie, you know, and, and whether or not they're they're bullying another director, and that's why he took off. Who knows? But it's not. They don't know what they're doing with those properties. Marvel does. So for me, I'm going to be more confident if they get fantastic. Now here's the other thing too. Keep in mind the Hulk, right? Because you had that Ang Lee film, The Hulk, that came out that everybody disparaged and nobody liked. 
They took another shot at it. This time under Marvel Studios. They took another shot of it. It was an improvement. Um, but still, but Hulk was not a beloved character at that point. Cinematically, it wasn't a beloved character at that, that point. But then they took another crack at it once they had their cinematic universe going, brought him in, and all of a sudden brought him into Avengers, and all of a sudden Marvel was able to, let's use the term, rehabilitate the image of the character. I think there would be a really massive thrust of interest in Fantastic Four if they went back to Marvel and they rebooted it again within the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Potential, at any rate. Right. I think so. I mean, I, I, Marvel Studios is clearly like promises in Malibu. It's like rehab for bad superheroes <laughs> that want to go to a better movie studio. I get that, and I would be more excited about Fantastic Four than it would be if Fox was trying to do it again. I just don't see why Kevin Feige or anybody at Marvel would be like, oh, we need to get this property back on but our But look, team. what are they giving up? Because under the current deal, okay, under the current deal with Fox, nobody right now can make X-Men television series unless it's animated. Even Marvel cannot make X-Men live action television series. They can't under the deal with Fox, but now they can Fox. So if you're giving up something that's kind of useless to you right now to get something that you might be able to get some value makes out sense. of, kind of makes sense. Right. It'd be different if they were giving up, say, Wolverine for, uh, or, or if they were giving up, let's say, Magneto in exchange to get Fantastic Four. Then, I'm with you, I'm scratching my head, what was the point of that deal? But to give up something you're not using anyway, to get something you might be able to use? And it's beneficial to both. <clears throat> because and it could help yeah, out both sides. I love sides. that it sounds like baseball all of a sudden, where it's like, we're going to yeah. give you the Fantastic Four for Magneto and a mutant to be named mm. later. It's like, let's put it this way. I've got an all-star third baseman, but I've got another third baseman who is almost all-star right, level. Right. But he's sitting on my bench. But I got no, um, I've got no closer. I've got no closer in my pitching pen. They've got pitching. They need a third right. baseman. I've got third baseman in, in galore here. Make the trade. It works out for and both. And you know guys. what it also does too is because if you're going off that point, like if you are if you're Fox, right? Fox, the rumors at one point they wanted to tie in the universes with Fantastic Four and X Men. Right. They're certainly not going to do that now. Um, but had this Fantastic Four movie been a hit, maybe, I guarantee you they would have I, I down don't that disagree path. with you at all. But what I also think that they can do if they get that X Men TV series, then they can make that part of their shared universe. They and, could. And maybe they can follow a page from Marvel and make it an, a, a Netflix series like Daredevil, and then they put an X Men series out there, and you get a wolf. Wolverine, uh, you know, series on on Netflix. I'm just saying, a lot of these oh, different I'm all series, for stuff like that. Yeah. yeah, I'm just saying, as a movie fan, I would blindly support Spider-Man going to Marvel. I was like, whatever you guys want to do, yes, this yeah. is the right play. With Fantastic Four, Marvel's going to have to sell me right. on seeing them on the big screen. But again. you brought up an interesting point that I had not considered. We're all just assuming here. Well, first of all, I, I haven't read said whether I buy or well, this is buy or sell, but whether I buy or not the rumor at all. I don't buy it. I don't think this is true. That being said. There are, there are reasons to believe that it's not true. There are really good reasons to believe that it would be. If it was true, no one's considering that maybe they're getting Marvel Wants Fantastic Four to add to their Netflix lineup, mm -hmm. to add to their television numerous. I mean, we haven't considered television here. So, I, I mean, there's a lot. I'm sure more information is going to come out in the coming days. We'll find out if this is true or not. Much like that rumor that uh, Marvel had axed the Inhumans, which turned out to you right. know not be true. But we'll, I'm sure we'll find out more as we go on. Actually, Ashton, let me drag you into this for a second. Mm -hmm. You know, hit you with some Fantastic Four trivia. Right. Oh, no. God, the no. trivia. <laughs> no, no. But as, as a more casual movie fan... Uh -huh. With all the hubbub you saw and you've heard about all everything that surrounded Fantastic Four at Fox and the most recent failure yeah. and stuff like that, now you're hearing maybe they go back. As a casual film fan, mm -hmm. if you were to find out Fantastic Four was going to Marvel, does that do nothing for you? Does that increase your interest in seeing a yeah. Fantastic Four movie? What does that do for you? Um, probably increase because where it's at right now, it's not working. <laughs> um, so why not? You know, that's like it's a property that I'm sure a lot of people want to see done correctly. So why not try to, you know, revive it and do it the correct way? So um, I actually tweeted about it and a lot of people are saying that um, they want it to be true, but they don't believe it's true. That's, that's, that's kind of where saying. I am too, but it'll be it'll be interesting if it is true. Because, like I said, I, th I think we all agree it makes business sense. I would love if Den Geek just made it up, and then you see Marvel and Fox going, "Hmm, maybe <laughs> we should idea. actually do this." <laughs> it's like the parent trap. Like yeah. we're just going to try to hook our parents yeah. up.